Last time in Delightful Travelers, we started our new life in Phuket. We gave you a tour of our home in the beautiful town of Rawai where we're staying. In this video, things take a turn for the worst. We're not quite feeling ourselves, but we won't let that stop us from exploring the island. I'm Anna, and this is Trevor. In this series, we're finally experiencing one of our bucket list dreams, living in Thailand. Make sure to hit subscribe and click the like button so you don't miss a single video. A huge thanks to our channel members and patrons for making these videos possible. This is our Thailand life. I'm on my way now. Well, do you guys remember in the last video when we were all excited that we were starting our new life here in Thailand? <laughs> well, that night we went out to eat. We went out to eat some dinner. And uh, yeah, we ended up getting sick and we got food poisoning. We got food poisoning. Thankfully, it's not something that happens to us very often, especially considering how often we travel, the different foods that we eat mm -hmm. all the time, but it happened. It did. It happened, so um, we haven't filmed now for uh, a little over a week. That's, that's long for us. I know for you guys it probably doesn't. <laughs> Nothing seems to have uh, changed, hopefully. So I'd say we're at about 50%, maybe 60% capacity now. We thought we'd come out and, and mainly to try to distract ourselves from just yeah. like staying inside. And... Yeah, not only are we not filmed, we haven't really done anything. <laughs> and it's been so disappointing because well. it's like our first time in Phuket. There's all these beautiful beaches and amazing islands and so much to do. And we have a huge list of things we want to do. And well, so. we just lost a lot of time. <laughs> well, let's see if we can do it. Also, this is the first time we've been away from a toilet, like within like 10 feet. So wish us, wish us luck. Hopefully as the day goes on, we start to feel better and better. But I will say that this beach is already making us feel a lot better. This is called Yanoi Beach. It's our first time here. It's really beautiful. <laughs> I know, there's, there's two sides. Look at this. So you have this side and a big giant rock behind you. And then you have this side. It still looks great even when the sun's not in, huh? I know. It's beautiful clear water. Did I just say it's our first time here? I can't remember. I feel like the memory's not working very well yet. But uh, yeah, it's just, it's, the beaches here are just insane. And I'm sad that we really missed out on so much time, but we're going to have to make up for it. So if it's your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Trevor and that is Anna with the Delightful Travelers. Hit subscribe to follow along on the adventures. If you're not new, I nice see all you guys again. So I'm sure you have lots of questions like how did how did we get sick? Like where? So believe it or not, it was not at a Thai restaurant. It wasn't from street food or anything like that. We eat lots of different kinds of food. We actually went to a Western pizza place and we think it was from either the salad, like the lettuce in the salad, maybe unwashed, or perhaps the ice of all places. <laughs> That's the last place we thought it would happen, but hey, it comes with travel. We're trying to cheer ourselves up. We're getting better slowly. I mean, look at this place though. So for me, picking up anything stomach related is honestly really, really scary for reasons that I've actually never talked about in video. And it's not on purpose. I've not been like keeping this from you guys or not wanting to talk about it. It's just never really come up. But I have a disease called Crohn's disease. It's an autoimmune disease. But I've been really, really good for about five or six years. And that's really the reason I haven't talked about it because it doesn't really affect my life that much. Not on any medications. I'm actually in uh, something called deep remission, which is apparently really rare according, according to my doctor. So I've just never really talked about it. But anytime I get something stomach related like this, it's like, it puts in the back of my head what if I'm gonna get a flare up or like we, you know, if things get really bad, I wouldn't be able to travel and have this lifestyle. And it's always sort of in the back of my head. I guess anybody with any sort of recurring illness knows what that's like. It's just always kind of there, always kind of scary, but things are starting to look up. Let's talk about the setting of this beach. First of all, the color of the water is out of this world and we're surrounded by these kind of small cliffs and right in the middle of the beach is this rock cluster which is so so unique looking there's also coconut trees here we haven't seen those in a while there's actually coconuts even on them so we came to the right beach and here's the thing this isn't even one of the popular beaches it's like not one of the touristic super touristic beaches that you come to Phuket Thailand for this is great and this is really close to our place another thing to mention a little update from our last video is the weather here, huh? Yeah, and this is on a positive note. So if mm -hmm. you watched our last video, we were kind of saying that we're here in November, or we arrived in November, which is supposed to be the beginning of 
high season, the end, the end of rainy season, but the last few weeks have been really, really, really yeah. rainy and unpredictable. So we've had, other than our gut stuff, had a hard time planning anything because it would just start randomly raining in the, the middle time. of the afternoon. Like, or you couldn't anything. plan anything. So remember we mentioned <laughs> that there's island tours to do around here? Yeah. That's still on our list and now it's getting higher up the list because the weather has been more predictable. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully we've turned a corner and things are going to be better from here on out. Yep. We did talk to somebody local that said that he's finding that each November it seems to be pushing farther and farther, in, like rainy season is pushing farther and farther into, into November. That seems to be happening everywhere in yeah. the world. Like last year that was happening in the DR. Let us know if that's happening where you guys are, but either yeah. way, we are just happy that the sun is shining. This might be one of my favorite little small beaches we've ever been on. It's really not long, but it's kind of perfect. It's so pretty. Yeah, I love how it, you already sort of described it, but it's really, really gorgeous. The watercolor especially, you guys. I mean, look at that turquoise. And then when you pair it against like the cliff, it's really, time is really green. It's not like a lot of palm trees. It's more like forest-like. It's interesting. Yeah, there are palm trees around, but it is definitely, oh, you said Thailand, this may be a Phuket thing. Cool. There are definitely, it seems more jungly and more like, like there's even like a pine tree behind you. It's really, really interesting. There's also some uh, kayaks you can rent here. I think it's a hundred, about a hundred baht an hour. Yeah, let's do that in a future <laughs> video. I'm not prepared to go out on a, a kayak today. I feel like I might just be asking for trouble. Yeah, it's a good price but, though. But it's I'd about like three US dollars to go out there. I don't know for how long, but we might have to one do that. One hour, it says. Oh, so one we can, hour. Yeah, we can go around the island or something. So we're just coming off the beach here and we found this cute little kind of like coconut motorcycle, let's call it wagon. Thing is, we shouldn't have coconuts, that's for sure. She's back there making that guy one. So we're just gonna see what else she has to drink. I don't think coconuts will go so good with our uh, disturbed bellies at the moment. We're gonna grab a uh, ginger ale here because we think that's probably the best. Only but one, this one. Only yeah. one, please. <laughs> But look at all these uh, coconuts too, huh? I'm honestly just glad we can get these here. We tried to find them the other day at a store and all we could find is like Coca-Cola. So we're lucky giving, again, our bellies are not so well and I won't be lying. We might be trying to find the toilet right now. Just trying to keep it very real for you guys today. Something we maybe didn't expect to find here with so many, I hate to say like Bali vibes, but that's really the best way to describe it or the best way I can think to describe it. You like really cute outdoor places, nice umbrellas always have smoothies and smoothie bowls that's like basically the ultimate bali thing but it's definitely coming into all the other islands and different countries around southeast asia it's also very jungly like look at this stuff yeah that's like <laughs> almost like mangroves yeah this is uh it's wild here so we thought there might be a nice viewpoint or some stuff up at the top of this crazy hill we didn't realize quite the hill it is but halfway up is a really nice view of where we just were you can kind of see that point there this is amazing looking so you can see way over there there's like a white structure that's uh, Nyharn Beach Resort, isn't it? I think that's what it's called, but that's, around the bend is Nyharn Beach, which is a really famous beach. Yeah. This one is the less famous, as we said. It's not like one that really people really talk about. No. And oh. no one talks about this hill either. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Yeah, we got a long way to go up this hill. We thought doing this would be a good way to get some exercise, which it is, but after a few days, or I should say a week or so of not feeling very good, and doing, nothing. Ooh, and doing absolutely nothing. It was hard. Now you guys are probably wondering, why have we not rented a scooter? We're just not really scooter people, are we? Yeah, we, so we've never really done it. I know at some point we just need to like do it, mm -hmm. get comfortable with it. Hopefully somewhere, it would be nice to do it somewhere with no people around. Yeah. Get comfortable and then be able to do it on stuff like this. So this would be a perfect place to do it. Problem is we've traveled a lot and we've seen so many people get in scooter accidents or just injure themselves. So, I'm not sure if we want to. Maybe that guy. Oh, I was hoping they come give us a lift. Come back, give us a lift. Well, found a little look off point. <laughs> yeah, not too bad. This is worth the very, very difficult walk to get up here. Beautiful view. I think, is that the island that we were looking at? I think it is the island. So the beach we were at, you can't see. It must just be kind of tucked there. But what's the name of this place, do you know? Uh, Palm Cape. Um, Cape from that I could be I'm sure I'm totally pronouncing that wrong I haven't quite figured out like the th's and everything how the <laughs> words are pronounced properly in Thai so there's this big giant square here you can see this enormous tree in the background I'm not sure if this is the square that we saw on the map or not also I think I think the king and queen of Thailand are right over here in, in picture form <laughs> so I not only can I not pronounce Thai I definitely can't read it either but I'm gonna assume that's the king and queen someone can correct us if we're wrong 
Wow, take a look at this. We just got to the top of the stairs and we came across this shrine and mainly it's elephants. I've never seen so many elephants before, but in general, it's so pretty. There's so many different colors from gold to kind of bright oranges. Really, really unique and what a way to kind of end our big climb up to get to the top and see this. But I also see something right over there as well. So a little farther up, there's actually another shrine and a monument. I think it's to something called Prince Chump. Bon. I'm probably saying that wrong. I tried to look it up online. Try to, honestly, I spent about 20 minutes trying to find some shade and reading about it online. And it, everything online kept taking me to another monument that's in a different area of Phuket. I know I always laugh. I think probably every travel vlogger absolutely hates the uh, comment getting, we get them all the time saying, you need to do more research. <laughs> Always, every time you do an explore video, someone says it doesn't matter how much research you do. Someone always says you need to do more research because they expect us to be like full on historians. <laughs> it's so it's hilarious. But I literally spent like 20 minutes trying to figure out about this guy. What I did figure out was that he's considered the father of the modern Thai Navy. Just back to the uh, fact checking historian thing for a minute. When we're out filming these videos, sometimes we don't even know we're going to end up in places like this. And when we do, believe it or not, often there is not English on the writing for the descriptions of these things. So we had no idea. Google came in, helped us out a little bit. If we're wrong, just let us know. No need to get mad at us, you guys. We're trying our best here making the videos. So how's it going over here? I am hot, hot, hot. It's, in the shade, it's not too bad. And when the breeze comes up, oh, it's so nice. Tummy's doing better than I expected, I will say that. But I think maybe it's a good idea to head back to our place. It is a nice day. And I don't know if you guys remember that rooftop pool. We kind of teased it in the last video, but it might be a little safer to be there near a toilet, might I say. <laughs> So welcome back to the pool. We did actually show this to you in our last video, but the weather got super moody and it started to rain the moment we got out here. This is more like it. It's so refreshing after, you know, walking up a giant hill, sweating a lot, being overheated, and then just be able to come back here, jump in this pool and then lounge by it for a little while. Yeah, it's one of the things we were looking for when we decided to move here to Phuket, Thailand for a while. And by the way, we might not have even said that yet. <laughs> in this video that's the goal is we're trying to scope out areas to live throughout the world we're here for quite a while in thailand it's just today well last week was a bit of a rough start but we wanted a place with a pool but i do have to say when we come to a place for longer like we did this time when you do get sick it's not i mean not that you want to get sick but mm. it's better when you're at a place for a long time you had like a two-week vacation oh and you're sick for oh that would the suck whole time. yeah if you if you came here <clears throat> flew across the world let's say from north america and got mm -hmm. here and you had 10 days and you got sick and like we were i mean your vacation is over yeah. <laughs> we couldn't do anything so so at least we have <laughs> we can make up for it we have time yeah. and again we, this is a really like homey setup we're super super happy with it by the way this is a salt water pool i always love when places go the extra step and they do that because a it's just great for your skin and two it's kind of fun because it's just more buoyant when you're in here but speaking of this pool once again the view is incredible from up here i mean it is it's out of this world and it's in an infinity pool now if you're wondering what does our place look like we uh, showed everyone in the last video. So you can go back to the last video, maybe we'll link it right up here, and you can see the full on tour in that one. Well, it's time to have this little guy. Something, you know, I said we can get smoothies and stuff like that. You can also get cold pressed juices, and this is like cold pressed ginger. It's just straight up <laughs> ginger. We tried another one the other day, same thing, and it's so strong. I'm not really looking forward to it. It's just literally straight up ginger. I wonder if you're supposed to mix it into something. It doesn't say to, but it's, I can't believe how strong. I've been trying to eat really, really carefully lately. So we've been having a lot of like just plain bread, probiotic yogurt. We did find for you Canadians out there, some craft macaroni and cheese craft dinner, as we call it. Soups, just basic stuff like that, but ugh. All right, it is time to try the most potent of potent drinks. Straight ginger, as we said. You guys, you guys ready for this? Because it's, it's harsh. <laughs> oh my. It like, it's a burning sensation of ginger. I can't describe it as anything else. Don't, there's no other descriptor words this time. It's hot and burning on your throat. If you ever had like ginger beer, maybe that's the best uh, the best example I can give you, but ginger beer is kind of for enjoying. This is not for enjoying. This is straight up just for your tummy. Do I have to? 
No, you have to. I really don't want to. It's gonna make you feel better. For the record, I love ginger, but this is just, I, there's no words. <laughs> Why do we do this to ourselves? It bur like it really, really burns as it goes down your throat. It burns more than a shot of vodka. It does. It's almost <laughs> like it's like a chili's in it. So all things considered, that wasn't a terrible day. It wasn't a bad day. We just needed a distraction, like a real distraction from our place and just sitting around waiting for the next time we had to go to the toilet. Yeah, and it was nice <laughs> to actually get out of here and actually do something and not, no major emergencies. So that no, we went really well. <laughs> we were good. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. We, we thought we'd fire up the camera and show you the reality of travel like this happens to everyone happens to the best of us it happens to us not that often knock on wood somewhere yeah. someone knock on wood for us on the other side of the screen yeah. please but um, I know sometimes <laughs> when we have videos that are kind of might we say negatively titled people say stop complaining we're not complaining this no. is just it is like Trevor just said it's the reality <laughs> is it happens to pretty much everybody yep. at some point especially if you travel as often and you eat out as often as we do yes I'm really glad it did not happen on a travel day because that would that would really suck. Now, what we do want to know from you guys is if you have any tips, like when this happens to you and you have like an upset stomach and many other things, <laughs> what um, what do you do? Like, do you eat certain things? I mean, we try to stick to some really basics. But, yeah, anybody yeah. have any tips? Anything that really worked for you in the past when you got sick? <laughs> we're up for uh, we're up for any suggestions you might have. Now, if you got this far in the video, thank you for watching. There's lots more on Thailand coming up. We're just starting to come down the other side of the mountain now and feel good. We have lots of uh, big plans. But I'm Trevor, that's Anna, Delightful Travelers. Hit subscribe, leave us a comment, hit the like button. You know the drill. And if you're not new, it's great to see all you guys again coming up. We've got some, uh, we have some plans. We need to get yeah. to an island. Yeah, so I think things are gonna go a lot better from here on out. At least I'm very hopeful that, <laughs> that it will improve, but that everything will improve. The weather will be great, that oh, our tummies will be great, weather. that nothing else will go wrong and we can get out to some islands, yes. some different beaches, some different There's so much to Phuket. do here and it, it's the vibe changes so much when the weather is nice like this. So cross your fingers for us, but we're going to leave you here and go back and just rest and hope that tomorrow we feel even better. All right guys, that's it. <laughs> From Roai, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.